Still July 7th, 2022. Hope everybody out there is still having a good day. Start off by saying if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. This one here may get me in trouble too, like the video we put up yesterday. We'll just have to wait and see. But are y'all aware now that 9mm are high powered ammo? You know? The shooter up there in Chicago, they're saying used a Caltech Sub 2000. You know, that's either a 9mm or a, or a 40. That's all it comes in. But I find it very strange that after our president said a 9mm will blow the lungs out of your body. We all remember him saying that a couple of weeks ago. Now, they're claiming this 9mm is a high-powered rifle. If you don't know what it looks like, the Caltech, it looks similar to an AR, but it's a pistol. It's got a collapsible and foldable stock. It's it's not high powered i don't understand i knew something was up when the police when they first started talking about it kept calling it a high powered rifle you know that something just wasn't going to be right with this of course you know they had everybody thinking ar-15 ar-15 or ar-10 or or you know uh ak or something was used and it turns out that he used a nine millimeter it's just very strange to me how this comes up right after President Biden claims that 9mm is a powerful round, you know, to blow your lungs out of the body. You know, you can watch YouTube videos on here What if you're not, don't know much about guns, you can watch them and see the difference between a 9mm and a high-powered rifle. There's a big difference in them. You know, are they both deadly? Yes, they both are deadly. But they're trying so much now you know the big black gun is scary it's a scary weapon nobody needs to have it and i ask people sometimes well if you don't think the public citizen should have that uh, a ar-15 or a ar-10 who do you think should have it more more times than not i hear well only the police and the military should have it well why should the police have it you know we've got our president saying the nine millimeters just you know blow your lungs out of the body it looks like that's what they would carry you know, which they do. Most police officers carry a nine, some carry a 10 millimeter now. But as far as you could see, they was they didn't want to come out and tell you what it was because they wanted everybody thinking it was AR, it's AR. And it wasn't. It's a Caltech Sub 2000. Like I said, it's still a deadly weapon. I'm, I'm not, you know, saying it's not. But calling it a high powered rifle, they're trying to just keep everybody scared all the time. Most of the people who watch these type of videos understand this. They understand what's going on. You know, they're chipping away your Second Amendment rights. They're going to try. Watch what happens now. After this shooting up here, they'll, they'll try to pass some other gun law. The, you already said that the prosecutor up there in the press conference said that they want to get rid of all of them, all the, you know, ARs and things like that. But the problem is, is what he used was not an AR. It's not. Does it look similar to one? Somewhat. There'll be a link down here in the description where you can read up on what, what the gun looks like and what it is. It'll be a Wikipedia page. And just click on the link and you can go to it. Let me know your thoughts on this, though. Do you think the, the media and everybody is just... They're pushing hard to get rid of guns, and I hope you can see it. What's your thoughts on it? Do you think they're trying to take the Second Amendment away? I'm a firm believer any law wrote against the Second Amendment goes against the Second Amendment. It's an infringement. You know, now they're they're doing the red flag law. This this person had interactions with the police before, you know, and was still able to purchase a firearm. You know, it kind of shows the red flag law didn't work. So now watch out because they're going to get more strenuous. You know, they're, they're going to make it harder. They're going to get... I wouldn't be surprised if people with YouTube channels don't get red flagged simply because somebody don't like their video and that's what it's coming to with these red flag laws. It, that's what's coming. It's going to come to where if your neighbor doesn't like you, you, they're going to call them on you. And the problem with the red flag law is, is you're guilty until proven innocent, and you have to pay money to get your stuff back. And how long does that take to get your stuff back? People say, well, you don't have to pay money. Yeah, you will. More than likely, you'll have to get an attorney. Attorneys aren't free. You've got to pay for that. Then you're going to have to pay for court costs and all this and it's not like they come get your gun today and by monday you know they're giving it back to you and i've said before in another video what could happen which i've seen in my area before a gun was confiscated 
and then when the judge ordered it back to the to the owner guess what that gun wasn't in evidence guess where it was it was at a at an officer's house he was using it they had to go he had to, the judge ordered him to go get it and bring it back and that's what you're going to see this is just more and more gun confiscations what they're trying to do here but i wanted to straighten this out a little bit about what gun was used up there he had other firearms that he had bought you know y'all can read up on that kind of stuff but as far as what they're saying he used it was not a high-powered rifle it was a nine millimeter pistol that was turned into a carbine which just means it's longer pretty much you know it's got a stock on it let me know your thoughts on this comment below because this is really important and i'd like to know your thoughts on this like or dislike the video and if you're still watching please hit that subscribe button we're still trying to hit 500 subscribers before the world goes completely crazy which it looks like it's heating up we've got all kinds of stuff going on everywhere always be aware of your surroundings and keep your head on a swivel when you're out in public you're not safe anywhere in america this shooting up on a parade proves that you're not safe anywhere in america always be aware of your surroundings and protect yourself at all times stay safe out there and keep prepping